Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to our 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa run with Algeria. We are in part three and we have made it to the World Cup. This is our group, Holland, Morocco and Israel. So one European team, another African nation and another European team. Technically Asian, but obviously Israel play in um, Europe for known reasons so Algeria I think they could potentially do this we had a bit of issue in qualifying with our shooting Holland might be a bit tough Morocco is they are beatable and so are Israel as well but it all depends on Algeria shooting if they want to be clinical and before we start it's on legendary difficulty it is always on legendary difficulty because it is the best and most fun way to play these runs our first match is a big one. It's going to be against Holland. Can Algeria produce the first shock of this World Cup? I think that Algeria could go quite deep into this World Cup. Like I said, if the shooting is on point, there were matches in qualifying where it wasn't. And then there were other matches where it absolutely was. So it was fairly strange, but hey, it's it's fine. Sometimes teams are like that. Some of them are a tad inconsistent. Here comes Gazal. He's battling his way past these defenders. Could have been a foul there. Into the middle and it's cut out. Good defending by Holland. Crossed in. Headed out. But it's gone straight to Snyder. And it's gone wide thankfully. Oh, on over the top here. Jabor. Can he run through? Here comes Jabor. Poked underneath the keeper. But it's just gone wide sadly. It's half time and Algeria and Holland are drawing nil nil. Quite respectable from Algeria really. Holding back the Dutch. So can we do it again in the second half? I wouldn't mind a draw here. You know it's a good result in the first group stage game. Go on. Oh good through ball Gazelle. Just turn a little bit. And it's put wide again. I just wanted it on the floor. And the shooting has come back with the qualification um, to get me here at the moment. If we had scored that chance, then Holland would have been under a lot of pressure to get back into the game. Would have definitely changed how the game was going. I mean, they are not playing that brilliant at the moment, but, you know, they will find that goal from somewhere. Through ball. Here comes Matt Moore. Matt Moore. Yes, it's in. I thought it just went over the bar, but it actually nestles into the back of the net. And Matt Moore with the great run and the good finesse shot to make it 1-0 to Algeria. And I don't really know why Holland didn't really come across to sort of, you know, double up on the defence there. They did, but it was too late. I don't know why they didn't do it earlier. And yeah, 1-0. I'm not complaining too much at all. Come Holland to Kaut. And I don't know if that was an intentional pass or not, but it kind of messed up there. They haven't really had many great attacking plays. I mean, we've only had maybe two or three, but they really haven't had any. And that is a testament to our great defending so far. And then I spoil it. I absolutely spoil it. And Robin has scored. Somehow Robin scored that to make it 1-1. I thought Cal poked it in. Let's have another look. Okay, AI, don't. So checking this one out again, it's whipped in here by Robin, and I think it it did. It come off my defender's head. You can see he was headering it towards out towards the defence, and it went off his head and went in. That's really unfortunate. Here comes Matt Moore, and tackled immediately by Schneider, and we tackle him back. And then we get tackled and it goes back to me. What is actually going on? Through ball. Matt Moore again in that position. Can he do it again? And I get slid and out. But it's actually a decent tackle. Robin. Out on the wing. He's crossed that one in. And it's flicked away by the keeper. Getting a bit dodgy here in the last sort of three minutes of the game. Is there a late winner for Algeria? There could be. Jabor. Has he got his shooting boots on? No, he hasn't. Oh, that keeps happening. How do we keep missing those kind of shots? It happened all throughout qualifying. And again, it's followed us here to the World Cup. That is so bad. And let's just get this one away. We missed a massive chance at the end to win the game. Really, really poor by um, Jabor to miss that chance. I mean, yes, part of it was on me. 
but at the same time, I mean, it's still a it's still a decent draw, but I'm disappointed at the ending of that one. We could have won it, but hopefully we can sharpen up a little bit more against Israel and Morocco. Our next match of this group is against Israel, a team that are sort of middle of the road on this game. You know, I'd say their most dangerous threat up top is probably uh, Benayoun possibly Ben Haim maybe I think he's a defender though so oh mistake by Israel but it's blazed over the bar come on Jabor for Algeria twisting and turning here and uh, ref no that was technically sort of off the ball maybe I ran into it go on go for the strike oh, that wasn't a bad attempt so it's half time and uh, Algeria and Israel are still drawing. Israel decent defensively and Algeria just haven't really had the killer chance they need to maybe grab this win. Here comes Ben Ayoun. Oh, of course he has. I knew it at the start of the game. I was like, I listed him as my main threat in this game. And I knew that Ben Ayoun would put it into the back of the net in that situation. There was only one defender there. Couldn't quite get in front of him. Look at the space Israel had here. That's not good enough, Algeria. Algerians are getting a little bit worried about this match. The shooting boots are not there. Israel in control of this match. It's going to be... Real tough to get back in this game if we're shooting like this. Come on, push forward, Algeria. Help each other out. This is, like, really difficult. Over the top, Ben Ayoun. Will he make something happen again? Crossed in. Header. And header again. Oh, it's just been awful at the back when dealing with Israel. There's literally like eight minutes left and Algeria have really disappointed me in this match. This was a winnable game, 100% winnable, but it looks like we're about to drop it. And Jabor and Gazal up top have been absolutely woeful in front of net. It's really difficult to explain how badly we've been playing. It's crossed in here and again the header not even met to you. And yes, come on. Who was that? Who was that? It's Mansouri with the goal in the 88th minute. An unlikely guy to get goals, really, because he hasn't really scored that much in my qualifying series. The captain has rescued it. What a strike. You know, I passed it to him and just went straight in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, Mansouri. And that is 1-1. We might have rescued this game. Come on, Jabor, he's in behind somehow, can he do it? Yes, he's done it, it's 2-1 in the 90th minute and Algeria have turned this one around. Just literally a couple of passes, a through ball and he puts it underneath the goalkeeper to make it 2-1. And we were 1-0 down against Israel in like the 87th minute, 88th minute we equalise, 90th minute we're 2-1 up. This is a massive three points and my disappointment has now turned to joy for Algeria. You know, I was quite disappointed in the um, run up to those two goals, but hey, we pulled it out of the bag and we got a decent win. Brilliant. For our final match, we have Morocco. And um, it could be a win or lose game easily because we struggled against Israel and Holland we played well against. But the Israel one, despite struggling, we still got the job done. So we might have done enough. A draw would be enough. We just got to hope that Holland and Israel don't draw. Because I think that if Holland and Israel draw, Israel will have four points. And Holland will have five. If we lose, then we would go out. All right, then. Our last match is going to be Algeria versus Morocco in this one. Is this kind of like uh, international rivalry, maybe? Because I know these two nations are very close to each other. I can't remember the map of Africa in my head. I just can't get it up. But they're very close. They're either bordering each other or they're very close. Algeria is quite a big country, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, could be a rivalry here, a North African rivalry. Holland are 1-0 up against Israel, so that's pretty good. 
And the keeper's coming out. It's punched it away. Go on. Over the top. We got it. Good control. Oh, good save. That control was really nice. And Holland had doubled their lead against Israel. Here comes Safri. And it's tackled. Game has been really decent from Algeria. A lot more attacking plays. And yeah, it just seems like it seems easier to go for on goal. It's just we're lacking the goal, obviously. Gazal. Oh, got clipped there. And that is actually going to be a penalty. A penalty to Algeria. And this could be the one that gives us the lead, perhaps. Will it be a red card or a yellow? It is a yellow. Lucky Morocco that it wasn't last man. He just got me in the inside of the box. Took his own player out as well. And Jabor has a chance to make it 1-0. It's in the green. Bang. There we go. And that is 1-0. Jabor with the penalty. And in the 66th minute, we've taken the lead. Mansouri. He's running. But he is out of stamina. Through ball to Gazal. Go around the keeper. And I got tripped. Oh, that, that was a cheeky tactic to trip me up before I could shoot. Oh, that's a through ball. And just save. But hold on. Oh, come on. That was a wicked deflection. And it went out to Baja. And he scores the equaliser for Morocco. Not like it really matters for Morocco. But, I mean, yeah, that's just a... Another stupid goal to concede. It just saved by the keeper, but it somehow manages to roll out to the winger who just taps it in. Good control, but the finesse. Oh, Algeria. I don't know about you, Algeria. Not yet at this World Cup. Some of the control and stuff like that is just... I don't know. It just makes me think like round of 16, possibly. I think there's a big opponent in the next group next to us. I think it's either England or Germany. We'll check later. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it against them. And yes, we scored in the 90th minute again. And that's Safi or Safi, however you say it properly. 89th minute to make it 2-1. And again, Algeria strike late. So maybe that's Algeria's gimmick. Is just striking late and winning games late on. And that is going to be it. Algeria have advanced to the next round thanks to that win. We we're going to go through anyway on the draw. But the win definitely helps us out massively. It will mean that I think we'll come top of the group, I believe. I think so. Unless the Netherlands goal difference surpasses us. Which I think it might have done because I think they beat Israel by four goals to nil. Let's just have a look. Yep, it was. So yes, I was right. Holland's goal difference was better than ours. So we finished second in that group. In the other groups, if you're wondering, Portugal and Ivory Coast go through in Group A. In Group B, Spain and Russia go through. In Group D, Germany and England go through. So I believe we'll be playing Germany. So that's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, it was either England or Germany. I couldn't really win in that one, could I? Especially with Mexico and Congo DR having... A really poor performance. In Group E, France and Slovenia go through in that one. In Group F, it was Brazil and Turkey that went through. Argentina and Australia go through in Group G. El Salvador nearly did it, but only two points behind. And in Group H, it was Italy and Paraguay who went through. Switzerland and Oman going home. So your quarterfinals are looking like this. And there's a few games already played, but let's have a look at them. So Portugal and Russia drew 2-2 and Russia won on penalties. And then England beat Holland 2-1. So that sets up a quarterfinal between Russia and England, France versus Turkey, Argentina versus Paraguay, Spain versus Ivory Coast, Brazil versus Slovenia, and Italy versus Australia. So I think... Maybe, aside from Slovenia, that we are, again, the lowest ranked team left in this World Cup. Which is cool. Um, it, if we do somehow beat Germany, if, then we've either got Ivory Coast or Spain to look forward to. So, yeah. <laughs> Gonna be a very hard route to the final. Round of 16 match against Germany. And most of you should have picked up on the fact that this matchup actually happened in the 2014 World Cup. Go on. Go on. 
Through ball. Is that going to be offside? Yes, it is. Oh, I thought Matt Moore was through. It was definitely going to be either England or Germany, wasn't it? So, you know, there was no way it was going to be Mexico or DR Congo. It would have been great if we could have got those, but having to, like either England or Germany is just such a hard opponent to come up against when you're slightly out of sorts, really. Not out of form, because we've We've won two games and drawn, but they were scrappy wins and draws, weren't they, really? Over the top here. Can we get it? Uh, somehow we got it there. Come on. Keep turning. Oh, went down. No pen. Okay, I'll take the corner. Just before half time, can we do anything? Header. Oh, the headering. Oh, the headering. Oh, come on. Germany have defended so well. Both of these teams have, really. Very limited amount of shots between them. And over the top here, can we do anything? Header by Adler. And, oh, come on. Like, oh, <laughs> I just didn't, I wanted to do a normal shot. I didn't actually want to do a chip shot. I don't know why it did that. I didn't hold the button. I didn't do anything. I just wanted to roll it. Well, this has to be sort of the final kick of the game. And then it will be extra time. So, yeah, both of these sides have really battled. Bit boring, but hey, it's okay. It's fine. You know, don't matter if it's not entertaining sometimes. You just need to grind this one out, Algeria, and try and get it to penalties now, or try and find a winner in extra time. Podolski, closer. He goes for it, and it's a weak attempt. Germany every time, every time they just get it and that was a hell of a ball, I thought it was going to be offside and how did we not tackle him there, I thought I got him, but Mario Gomez has scored in the 99th minute and our defence finally breaks down, I mean I'm not going to be too mad about that, it's Germany, but the fact is that I got in front of him there and I tackled him, but uh, I wish the keeper would have picked it up or something. Gomez, he crosses it in, Frings, not got it, Frings crosses it in, header, oh no, come on, no, of course not, no, defend, don't want to know, and Gomez has scored again, and that is 100% game over, there's no way we're getting two goals here, defence, like, just didn't really want to know on that play, like, it was headed back, and it gave him just enough time to fire it into the bottom corner. Germany 2, Algeria 0. Oh, slide tackle again. And Germany just don't want me anywhere near their net, do they? They've, we've only got like 20 seconds left, Germany. Gazal. Maybe. No, of course not. <laughs> no. And there we go. Algeria have been eliminated from the 2010 World Cup. But this time in the round of 16. Not in the group stage like they did in real life. And we had a repeat of the 2014 um, match up against Germany here. And we still lost. So we simulated the tournament. France beat Germany in the final. And Brazil beat Russia in the third place playoff. That is your tournament tree. So any big results um no all the big teams pretty much got through france had to beat turkey on pens to get to the quarterfinals they also beat argentina in the quarterfinals on penalties and then they beat russia 2-1 germany had to beat spain and then they beat brazil on penalties and then they went to the final and lost 2-0 so quite a basic world cup and that has been your run with Algeria. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the entire series. I just decided to do Algeria because the AFCON is on right now. And I figured, you know, they're one of the best teams in AFCON. Let's see how far they can get in the 2010 World Cup. If you did enjoy this one, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.